All right, guys. So uh, this video is going to be a real short one. Um, so I've got a cylinder here that I rebuilt off of a John Deere planter. I had to have a custom seal made for it, and I got the measurements a little bit wrong. And uh, the oil is actually bypassing over the piston. I know I've talked about some of my other videos, but how important it is to get the piston seal installed correctly, and kind of what it does if it's not installed correctly. Um, so. Or if it's not sized correctly too um, so I've, I've kind of taken this opportunity to kind of show a mess up on my part uh, it's an expensive mess up uh, just be just because it's a custom seal that I had to have made for it it happens oh well um, so I'm gonna kind of bring the camera down here to the front of the uh, front of the cylinder work it back and forth you'll see that the functionality is is fine um, but whenever you actually start to pressurize this you're actually putting it under a load is whenever this right here will actually happen and you'll see that the rod will you know it'll it'll pull back in but whenever I close my back valve off here it'll actually pressurize the back side and force itself back out um, so let me uh, just bring the camera down here and kind of give you guys a, a little view of it You'll have to look over the mess. I just got done uh, rehosing a skid steer, and I haven't really had a had a good chance to uh, to clean up yet. Um, I'm a little behind. I've got about five or six cylinders that I still have to tear down, and one or two more videos here to make. So, uh, so you'll see here with this cylinder, it'll actually it works just fine. It'll pull itself in. I'll kind of show you guys the buttons here as I move it. Pulls itself in, no problem at all. Pushes itself back out. We're going to extend it all the way out. Now we're going to pull it back in. And now watch what happens whenever I close this valve right here off. So, I don't, uh, hopefully you guys was kind of able to see that there in the video. Um, what's happening there is that fluid's actually bypassing over the piston and it's pressurizing the back side because you've got more surface area on the back side of that piston it will actually force itself outwards so even though you're pressurizing the retract side the amount of surface area on the back side is greater than the surface area on the front side so it can pressurize the back side more and actually overcome the incoming fluid here um, like I said I kind of hope uh, I hope that kind of clears up a few things um, whenever I talk about the piston needing to be installed right or the piston needing to be sized correctly because there's it's so easy to make a mistake sometimes especially if you're dealing with a custom seal I know this took me two times to get this one right just because we had to do metric and then we had to go back to standard and then they didn't have the right material um, but anyway I appreciate you guys watching thank you